Right, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new FIFA 21 career mode. This is going to be part one. We'll get started with that in a few minutes. Basically, long story short, I had all the footage saved on the hard disk drive. I saved it onto the computer as well and formatted the hard drive so I didn't lose any of it. And when I plugged it back in, the computer had lost all the recorded footage as well so I had nothing more than the pre-season so I lost the next game where we won the silverware and I lost the first two games of the league season as well so that's why we're starting again so we're going to jump right into a new career set everything up and then we should be able to put the first game of the pre-season tournament in this video as well so with all that out of the way let's get set up the new career so we're going to download the latest squads. Right, that's 100% complete. So now we'll set up the next part. We're going to go with a player career and choose a real player. Head over to France and we'll select PSG. Right, there we are. So, for Paris Saint-Germain, board expectations for domestic success, continental success and brand exposure are critical. Financials very low, youth development is low. You can read about the team in the top right corner. You can see the transfer budget and the club worth as well. We've got the blue shirt for home games and the white shirt for away. And we're playing at the Parc de Prince. Right, so now we're going to select a real player. We're going to go for Mbappe, the man who graces the cover of the game. And FIFA 22 as well. And yes, we want to start the career with Mbappe. Right, just a couple of quick changes here. We're going to change dollars to euros as we're in France. And we're going to take the transfer window off. Because I don't want to lose any of my players during the season. Out on transfers to other teams. I want to keep the whole team together as they are so yeah we're going to close that and I think we're good to go so we can just advance everything else seems okay okay so the first game in the pre-season is against Tottenham and we are at home Okay, so it's Paris Saint-Germain, Porto, Spurs and Manchester United in the group. We've got a message we can read as well, so let's check that out. League expectations. Welcome to the new season. The training staff at the football club have set out expectations for you this season. Your own career development will depend on your ability to meet these targets. Please take some time to understand exactly what's expected of you by looking at the detail of the season objectives. Good luck. We hope it's a successful one for you and the football club. Objectives. Your manager sets you a list of targets and objectives which you have to try to complete over the course of the season. Primary versus secondary. You'll want to focus on primary objectives but try to complete the secondary objectives too in order to become a player your manager likes and relies on. Rewards. Completing the objectives will improve your chances of being in the lineup and involved in games. Try to complete as many as you can. Try to make sure you don't spend time on the subs bench. Right, here's the objective set by the manager. Primary is keep an average league match rating of 8.4 or better. I'm expecting you to score at least 24 goals this season. Secondary objective, set up a minimum of 8 goals for the team and maintain no less than a 29% shot to goal conversion rate. Just before we jump in I want to show you the record sheet that I took a screenshot of for when I played prior to recording. So we'll just bring that up now. Okay, here we are. So as you can see, we played 62 matches, 135 goals scored, 42 assists, 
no injuries and no suspensions. And we finished top of the league with 38 games played and 104 points. So the question is, in this season career mode, can we beat that tally? We shall see. Sure would be fun trying to though, wouldn't it? Okay, so without further ado, we're now going to jump into the first game of the pre-season tournament against Spurs. I hope you enjoy this, and here we go. Playing as a player. When you're playing as a player, you just have control over yourself and what you're able to bring to the game. You can focus 100% on your own performance. Controlling the team. You can take control of the whole team. You'll want to make sure your player gets involved in as many moves as possible in order to complete the objectives he's been set. Quick sim. Go straight to the final whistle and find out the result. You can only use this if your player wasn't given a place in the lineup. Hello everyone and welcome. What we can't complain about today is the weather. Absolutely perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray and joining me for commentary is Lee Dixon and we have pre-season group stage action coming right up for you. It's Paris Saint-Germain up against Tottenham Hotspur. Yeah, first game of their pre-season. Time to dust off those cobwebs and start getting the fitness back, Derek. Wouldn't be surprised to see the manager give some of the young players a ride out too. There's definitely a few on the cusp of breaking into the first team. Six, well, there has been quite a bit of pre-match chatter on the subject of Lucas Moura up against his old club today. He was always going to be front and centre and you have to say there's been an awful lot of goodwill. Well, he was a true legend here, wasn't he? They really love him. Fabulous to feel the love from your former club. Not sure what they'll think about it. He has an absolute blinder today. Will that goodwill last? I don't think so. And the PSG team looks like this. Kaylon Navas is the goalkeeper. Marquinhos plays alongside Presnel Kimpembe at the back. Julian Draxler plays alongside Marco Verratti in the engine room. And the main striker is the precocious Kylian Mbappe. Thank you. Introducing the Spurs starting 11. Hugo Lloris begins in goal. Serge Aurier starts with Ben Davis as fullbacks. And the focal point in attack today, Harry Kane. And the contest begins. Joe Roden, Lucas, now Aurier, and a throw in it's going to be, Paredes, Messi, not going to help the cause an effort like that Lee well sometimes you can just get a little bit too cute put your head down put your laces through the ball and strike it Ndombele Lucas with it and a Tottenham Hotspur free kick coming up Well, let's get more details on the injury situation. And he's in. Messi! Deary me, a golden chance missed. It might come back to haunt him. Well, you learn the script time and time again, and he's now just gone and fluffed his lines. Joe Roden. Lucas with it. 
Harry Kane now room to roam for Spurs on the wing Ndombele here's Kane alas he's made his move too early offside Verratti Messi Draxler good defending to prevent the chance denied again now counter attacking possibilities here end product or not and options in the centre not far away at all with the volley. Well, to catch it like that, you've got to have really good technique. And oh, so close. Paredes. Well, that's a super ball over the top. Able to clear the danger, at least for now. Attacking possibilities for PSG. Doing the stifling, Toby Alderweireld. And a wild, wild attempt from long range. Not one for his highlight reel. Well, it's a poor choice. He's got other options on. Why is he shooting from that distance? Roden Aurier Joe Roden Sizoko Not much time to make up his mind Ndombele Messi And here's Draxler And he's broken free Chance maybe Messi. How on earth did the goalkeeper get there? Well, he's died forever, hasn't he? He's got that strong hand on it. It's a brilliant save. Messi with the corner. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. Draxler Paredes Messi and the block from Alderweireld and the counter attack is on options available in with a chance will he and a goal now they've broken through 1-0 Well, let's look at this again. Magical football on the break. Surprise is the key. But you do have to ask questions about the keeper. Could he have done better here? I think so. He can't keep getting beat at the near post like that. Underway again. And Tottenham with the advantage. Neymar, Braxler now, Mbappe, and taken away by Alderweireld. Ndombele, oh and a perfect ball now, how about this? Oh big chance! And Lucas! But it can't get all the way through. No foul, PSG advantage. Lionel Messi and cuts inside oh he's gone for goal well that wasn't a million miles away no he was close it was a decent effort 
They'll keep plugging away, I'm sure. Ndombele. Fabier. Now Son. Good defending. Excellent challenge. No possibilities inside the box. And cleared away, a corner kick it'll be. Fired over by Messi. Gets his glove on it. Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. Kimpembe. Draxler. How did he manage to reach that? Hugo Lloris. Over it comes. Well, punched clear. And the pressure being applied to Aurier. Lucas. Now Ben Davis. Well, that's one for them to pursue. Son. Paredes. Might be able to set up the chance. And play to the front post. Well, dealt with that ball comfortably. Harry Kane. And Hoybier with it. Kane. Hoybier. Not a very good challenge, and he skips past his man. Well, really rifling that one in, and he didn't miss by much. Lionel Messi. Lucas. Paredes. Lionel Messi. Verratti. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Intense pressure. A move of promise on the flank. That's a very impressive piece of defending. Messi. Lucas and Hoybier with it Harry Kane how can he take them on and beat them and showing good defensive judgment On. Cleared away comprehensively. PSG just can't seem to get the possession game working. Ndombele. Lucas. And he keeps going. That's well blocked. And deciding to go short with this one. And played in. And routine for the keeper in the end. The cross far too close to him. Neymar. That's that. Now Messi. Will they get themselves level here? And it's a goal for Paris Saint-Germain. 
to square this game. Well, let's see that strike again. First time is always very, very difficult to strike a ball. The timing has to be right, the technique has to be right, but above all, you have to concentrate on the ball as it's coming to you. You know you're not going to take a touch. Concentration is everything. Well, the happy times are back. The coach is more than delighted by his team's response. So, a level contest. 1-1. One, one. Given the ball away here, Lucas. Joe Roden. Lucas with it. Spurs pushing forward with options available. And whipped into the box. The end product just wasn't there. Neymar. Verratti now. And the ball back with Spurs now. Alderweireld. Now Ben Davis. Fabier. Ndombele. Son. Good technique displayed. Harry Kane waits. Not to be this time. That is that for the first half here. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, there's never a bad time to score a goal, but just before half-time can be crucial. And he's got his team back in this game. What can he produce in the second half? So around the ground at half time, Manchester United a 1 1 Porto, Sydney a 2 0 down to Wolves, and Leverkusen a 2 0 up over Western United. All square at half time between Paris Saint Germain and Spurs, it's 1 1. 45 minutes played, one goal, no assists, and the one a 7.7. .7. Impressive vision with the through ball passes to teammates, excellent technique in scoring with the first time shot. Forward passing has been excellent. Flawless vision with the one-touch passes. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Davis. Son. This is Neymar. Magnificent defending. BSG doing well to win it back. Lucas. Deli Alley. Tidy in possession. Using his strength to shield the ball. And a pass that lacks quality. And Neymar! And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. And it could be an opportunity for PSG to take the lead from a corner. The delivery from Neymar, able to deal with the threat. Verratti, oh a tremendous block. Sissoko, and winning it back.
Lucas. Now Aurier. Well, Spurs now in potentially a dangerous position. Can't miss, surely! Not the easiest of situations for the keeper. Well, he's given a corner, they referee. Substitution for Palestine. Substitution it is for PSG. Number 23, Julian Draxler. To be replaced by number 27, Adrian Sutton. And he's fired over the corner. Lo Celso. Well read to ease the pressure. Lionel Messi. And Lionel Messi has turned infield. Neymar. Now Gay. Can they hit on the break? And he's in. Can he convert? And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front. Well, here's the replay, and it's a decent move to evade the defender. Well, then there's plenty to do from there. He hit it so well, lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. Great strike. Underway once more. It's going to be interesting to see whether or not PSG can articulate an appropriate reply. It's a splendid run by Mbappe. And Neymar, Verratti ready to pounce, and an effective clearance. Davis. Oh, he's given the ball away. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Well, that is annoying for any manager to see your own player giving the ball away from a throw-in. Neymar. Neymar preparing the inside route. And the block from Alderweireld. Well, a goal for PSG from the corner really would change the complexion of the game. Off the pitch, number 10, Neymar. To be replaced by number 11, Angel Di Maria. Over it comes. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. Well, the defending not the best here. Able to close down the shot. Aurier almost targeted. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Spurs to make a personnel switch now. Joe Roden. Now Aurier. Well, that ball looks promising. He continues his run. Defensive efficiency personified. Idrissa Gay. It's a weighted pass. Useful cross towards the near post. Attending to his defensive chores. Aurier, it's with Bergwijn, well he's got plenty of space on the flank here, targets available, cross comes in, well cleared away, and the counter attack is on, options available, still behind but the pressure mounting, 
losing possession Borie now room to roam for Spurs on the wing cross towards Ali back post and a touch off the defender last of all so a corner PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front. Corner kick played in. Not to be this time. So a goal kick is what's coming up here. Not an especially strong challenge. But he stopped them just when they looked menacing. Read it well. Less than convincing defending. It's there for him. Inside the last quarter of an hour. Lorenzi and he cuts in from the wing well he didn't miss by an awful lot well the coach is kicking every ball down there in the technical area I'm sure he thinks he could do better Lo Celso Joe Roden and in the second half, the signs are positive. They can't relax Lee, but they ought to be pleased. Well, with a narrow lead and the clock ticking, it's easy for the Tottenham players to lose concentration. And by a wafer-thin margin, offside. Moise Keane. Gay. On to Di Maria. Towards Messi, far post. Danger averted for now, but they have a corner to defend. And played in by Di Maria. Well, it has come to nothing. Fabier are really pressing their opponents. Ten minutes left for play in this match. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. It's been whipped towards the near post. I must say he's let himself down with really flabby finishing there. Yeah, he wasted opportunity from the short distance. You see the manager's frustration on the touchline. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. close down the shot another goal from this corner would in all likelihood secure a victory played into the centre of the box and not an attempt he'll be terribly proud of Five minutes remaining, and one thing is certain, no one is leaving, because it's still close. PSG chasing this game. They're not out of it. Spurs are dominating possession over the last 15 minutes, and if you look at how they've played, they deserve another goal. And if they were to get one, that would surely put the game to bed.
Well, not the pass he had in mind. This could square the game. And it has! Such late excitement. And no wonder they're jumping for joy as we speak. Well, as we look at this again, the keeper's every right to ask where his back line was, but 2v1 in the end, he's thinking now, is he going to pass or go round? He's got no chance. Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. Well, just listen to the atmosphere in here. It certainly has been cranked up a notch or two. You think there's going to be another chance or two before the final whistle? Hey, Pierre. Deli Ali now. Vinicius. And still on the lookout for the goal that could be so important at this juncture. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. The electronic board has been held in the air, and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. Lorenzi. Now sliding in field. Keeping possession of the ball with authority. Oh, what's he gone and done? And thumped away. Able to get his body in the way. Can't get the shot through. And maybe a chance for PSG now from this corner. Over it comes. Not to be this time. Well, mopping up defensively. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Davis. Lo Celso. And the final whistle at the end of the game. The two sides cannot be separated. But what will the home fans be feeling about this performance, Lee? Well, that's a great sign for any coach. The team kept believing right to the very end. Mental strength was good, very impressive. And about right, the scoreline for me. Well, one man who gave a very good account of himself out there, Idrissa Gay. Lee, how would you sum up his performance? Well, he left it late, the lad, didn't he? But he came good for his team in the end, getting that equaliser right near the end of the game. So, at full time, it's Paris Saint-Germain 2, Spurs 2. OK, so Mbappe played 72 minutes, got one goal, no assists and finished on an 8. Manager feedback's good. Impressive vision with the Fugal passes to teammates. Excellent technique and scoring with a first-time shot. Short passes are top-notch today. Forward passing has been excellent. Oh, we've got Manchester United up next. And we're away. Paul Toe are top, Paris Saint-Germain are second, Spurs are third, Manchester United are fourth. Okay. So we'll play that when we come back to save. So hopefully in the next video when we play United we can get a good result if we want to get to the final and pick up the trophy before the league season starts. So that's where we're going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed everything you've seen so far. If you have, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Help support the channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video. Take care of yourself and the world out there and bye-bye for now.